Welcome everyone to my new price prediction video presentation for December around Arbitrum cryptocurrency, which actually dominates layer 2 cryptos. It has a lot of the great movements in terms of the way the product, services and the fundamentals are developing, let alone the fact that their blockchain is performing heavily. We do have uh, you know, a large community contributing actively, believing in this crypto and performing well. So the price is obviously not in a moment that delivers the highest numbers. It is not in the moment that you see crazy wild movements. Yet this is obviously determined by different things which I would like to discuss about in today's video presentation and share with you that the ones that are losing faith in such cryptocurrencies are actually the ones that will end up losing big time for the future. Let's talk about Arbitrum. Make sure that you can subscribe, like the video. If you enjoy these materials, make sure to follow me on my channel. At the same time, for those of you that are serious about the business, I have a one-on-one -on -one coaching directly with me, where I'll take you by hand and teach you to become a professional trader. This is a one-on-one -on -one coaching dedicated live, where comprehensively we we'll learn the whole process. I'm going to talk about it in details at the end of the video, just like for the completely done for you trading that you can participate, no upfront fees, only commission from the profits made. We had a chat GPT bot helping us perform trading. By the way, if you have any questions or any so, if you'd like to find out more about them, make sure to schedule up yourself a free Calendly call with me. So let's see what's going on on the Arbitrum with the charts. And the number one thing that I need to underline is the fact that we did started Arbitrum in 2023. So we have been not part of any previous bull market cycle. We needed to comply with the bearish winter situations, which means that the bear market cycle that ended an accumulation stage right after that, and all sorts of difficult moments for the crypto space that the Arbitrum price needed to fight with. At the same time, when we are finding stability on a major double bottom level, and taking it to the highs from their 60% increase in 20 days is not something to underestimate. At the same time, people would have expected to touch the 1.35, one, slightly above 1.30. So we have a strong, very strong supply level located right there. We would have expected basically to touch that. Now, in order to reach to those levels, now, the reason for that is the fixed range volume profile representation of resistance that we needed to face and we didn't broke out successfully. It's the red line that goes horizontally like that, which means that for the structure we're looking at and running analysis on, we have a key level that determines the market direction, whether it's a dominant towards the upside or a dominant towards the downside. If you would like to talk about the continuation of bullishness, you need to transform basically the median line into your support, which was not happening. We didn't broke out successfully. We were pretty much punished by that. And the market retraced in a very positive way, by the way, towards the demand areas. From our demand areas, we took quite a full liquidity and we managed to force basically the market confirming above 50 days and 100 days moving averages. 50 days is the orange line and then the 100 days is the light blue one. So we've been able to confirm above the structure where I've been able to do the EMAs as well very nicely. 200 days is slightly above us, but this can be easily broken out and then you can force basically towards the 1.32, 1.33 major supply level. This isn't going to be an easy deal as well because slightly above, you have the golden pocket resistance from the tops. What I would enjoy is to break a little bit above the golden pocket resistance from the tops at 1.5 phase resistance and then come back to previous supply level. This is going to be very bullish if that happens, but we need that urgently, which means that December, January has to be right there. The market's got to push out of the volume profile fixed range, which is the red line right there communicating with us the major key level. As soon as you're trading below that, we cannot talk about, you know, major pumps. This is the problem, guys. We're still trading something that keeps the market under pressure with bearishness and do not allow a lot of the traders to participate with major longs and bullishness energy because of that. So this is a major indicator utilized by a whole lot of the traders. If you're under that line, it is a golden thing. 
people do not consider it as a spotlight. It's not because it's not, but they don't consider it. Something very interesting happens between the way people consider the things and the way they are. It is a lot better to buy before you break out of the key level point due to the fact that the price is a lot cheaper and you have more margin to make. But people don't do that. People want to see the markets trading above. They would like some retracements. They would like some great entries. And then they trade about the cryptocurrency whom belongs. Which is obviously when you have a market context that is towards bullishness, poor trading, across the board for all the cryptocurrencies out there, it is no reason to be fearful about Arbitrum in the way it sits at the moment. Now, when we look at the Andean oscillator at the bottom, we see that the bearishness has been pretty much constant but right now the bearishness which is represented with the red line the indicator line is the yellow one and then the green line represents the force of the bulls we had a completely uh, you know uh, punishment and a huge sellout from the bulls uh, meanwhile the bears were able to keep the markets constantly at a great level now what happens here is the, the bearish signal is touching basically the signal line. So in this case scenario, you have to deal with a market challenge. If we get to be bullish right here, then the red line is going to be rejected by the yellow line, which is the signal line, which means that the red line will continue downwards. The signal line will continue upwards like that. And then the green line starts curving higher. So in this case scenario, what are you going to do? You're going to try to basically attack with your bullish pressure line, the signal line, the yellow line, go above it after you broke out of the red line. This is something that could take us a couple of days, but this is another great step forward, much better price representation for Arbitrum. It is not one of those cryptocurrencies that delivered as a lot of the people have expected. They thought they were going to break out out of $1.6, dollars $1 right there on those tops. It didn't happen. Celestia and other cryptocurrencies took the spotlight. Uh, meanwhile, Arbitrum has some difficulties on the price section. What's happening behind the doors? It is just great. So all this cryptocurrency seems to be much more performant than what we have on the Ethereum side. What we have between the classic traditional cryptocurrencies out there that are, you know, representing a blockchain and they're fundamentally strong due to the fact that they have a very, very important position in the market. But at this time, in terms of the way things are basically consulting, uh, and materializing, we are actually looking for an uh, upcoming period which is going to be dominated by the cryptocurrencies that are not in the top 10, but most likely in the top, um, you know, 20 up to uh, 50, 60s, right? So the category is getting bigger and bigger with cryptocurrencies that are performing very, very well. And the ranking is going to be total different than we are going to see it today. Beautiful. That's pretty much all on the topic of Arbitrum. Things are not bearish, things are bullish. The only thing is certain levels must be cleared before we can speak about major movements. So, um, for those of you that are serious about the business, we have this one-on-one -on -one coaching program with me where I'll take you by hand and teach you how to trade just like I said, starting from the psychology and mindset into the technical analysis, understanding length of the merger, understanding the charts basically, uh, getting access to trading strategies, uh, indicators, and so on, as well as the live trading procedure, including the ability for you to join my done-free trading, no upfront fee, only commission from the profits made. The whole trading is outsourced to us. Everything is done through API, and we have our ChatGPT helping us. If you want to schedule a call with me, feel free to reach out on Calendly or simply just contact me in any form you would like. So that's pretty much all, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Have a nice day.